Roundtable, we are heading out to Black Star Sport Horses for the annual Tejas Carriage Association two-day event. This is one of my favorite days of the entire year. It's just so magical to watch all of the beautiful horse-drawn carriages go by and take a picnic. So instead of doing a cooking episode today, we're actually going to learn some picnic packing tips. So let's get started. So first I have a cutting board, which I think a lot of people often forget if they do need like a working space. And then a serrated knife for my pumpkin bread. I'm gonna take some plates. You can, of course, take outdoor plates. Uh, I really don't like to use paper, plastic, anything like that. Just blame my mom. She's Californian and they don't really throw things away. We like to use reusable and real. Okay, one thing that people always forget is some moist towelettes to clean up, especially if you're eating outdoors. It's always a good thing to pack up. Uh, I made my Italian pasta salad. I love taking pasta salads on picnics, especially because you can chill it in the container that you're taking it in. We're gonna eat this within an hour and it'll stay perfectly chilled just like that. Okay, then I made my pumpkin bread and fun fact, there's actually a whole video on how to make the pumpkin bread from last year that I also took out to the Tejas Carriage Association event. What can I tell you, it's always the first Saturday and Sunday of November and pumpkin bread is just perfect for that time of year. Then we have some apples. I have one for me and Morgan and one for each of my horses. Nestle that in there. Some forks. And can't forget about dessert. These are my chocolate pomegranate cookies. It's dark chocolate. You get those bright bursts of pomegranate seeds. They're so good. And pomegranate is a great flavor for fall. These also travel really, really well. They don't uh, crumble. They're pretty sturdy cookies, but they're super fudgy. I love them. Nestle that in there and then napkins and then don't forget I like to throw in a bag for trash everything gets so dirty or oily or messy or whatever and I just like to protect my basket speaking of the basket I love a flat topped basket because you can actually use this as a sort of table once you get out there and your food is not on the floor or on the ground which I think is really nice okay so my next tip is how to transport flowers. Of course, I like flowers at my picnic because flowers make me so happy. This is a galvanized metal bucket that I actually keep in the back seat floor of my car because it's just the right size. So it, it really, there's no fear of it spilling. And I also like to only fill up the flowers about halfway. They're just less likely to spill or tip. Now for the wine, this is a Gnarly Head bottle, 1924 limited edition. I've been so excited to try this wine and I thought, 1924, kind of a throwback era, perfect for a carriage event. I'm just gonna nestle in some wine glasses, get it help, helps it stay sturdy. And then bottle opener, can't forget that. And last but not least, a bottle stopper in case you want to bring this home. And I should say, you gotta put this in your trunk on the way back because you can't have open wine in your car. But don't forget your little stopper. Hi, hi. Hey, perfect timing, Morgan. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, everything looks so good. I'm hungry too. Are you hungry? Yes, let's go. Perfect. Okay, so we'll see you guys at the carriage event. So this is a two-day event. I usually come on Saturday because I like watching the cones course. They race through the cones and they race against the clock, see which one is the fastest. But then on Sunday, they do the cross country where they actually race through all of the 255 acres at Black Star. They go through an obstacle course. They have like water obstacles and go through the woods. Yeah, it's really cool. It's so fun. So have you ever been to an event like this? I really haven't. It's, it's not every day that I get to watch some horses. Mm -hmm. I love this one because I actually used to drive uh, my horse Prince in a carriage when I was younger. Oh, fun. That's so you. I know. <laughs> so we did uh, Fine Harness where the first time I ever laid eyes on Fine Harness, I was probably 11 years old. And I was like, that is the sport for me. They basically drive horses in a four-wheeled buggy and you wear a ball gown. <laughs> what? It's the That's most lavish. sport ever. <laughs>
I love that. It's like, I want to exercise my horses, but I don't want to change out of my ball gown. <laughs> That's amazing. It's my dream Saturday, basically. It's how future me is going to get the mail the day, just like drive the get horse the and buggy mail. down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's so fun. It's actually way harder than people think it would be, though, to drive a carriage. It looks so easy. You think like, oh, the horse is going to do all the work, but it's actually such an arm workout. Oh picture it a lot of these horses that we're seeing today are uh, small but if you drive you know a 1500 pound horse it takes a lot of strength uh -huh. to drive yeah, a horse I know that because you're right it does like, it looks easy like what about what are like the different like types of carriages because I'm seeing some with two wheels and some with four wheels and... that's a good question so a lot of the two-wheeled carriages that have like the big wheels that are very old-fashioned wooden um, those are the pleasure driving carriages, which are some of my favorites. I haven't seen a fine harness carriage, but that makes sense because that would not be what you would really race in. Yeah. Um, there's little like jug carts, which are kind of casual, like what you would kind of drive around for fun or like to exercise your horse. A lot of these, this, I'm probably going to get this wrong, but I would call this like a cross country cart. I don't know what the technical term is, um, but it's, it is made for uh, cross country. It has like really intense wheels and they can go pretty fast and turn on a dime. Okay. It's a really cool event. People come from all over. Uh, we have competitors from California and Florida and all the way up to Canada. And we've actually had the horses who pulled Katniss in the Hunger Games here. What? Yes, like three out of the last five years, I think. Oh my gosh, that's wild. A four in hand uh, Frisian group. They <sighs> look stunning. I bet. Oh my gosh, that's yeah, amazing. So just call me Katniss Everdeen. <laughs> I mean, basically. It's so like, what do they, what do the winners, do they get anything? Like, what is there, do they have a prize or? That's a good question. So they kind of, kind of yes, kind of no. So they have, um, they score, like you get first, second, third place, I think up to sixth place, but this is actually a rated show. So kind of the same way that, you know, if you're like a basketball team or a football team, um, you don't really like get a prize, but you do like get points to maybe go to nationals or a championship or something. And this is a major show for carriage driving. Yeah. I just think it's fun because it's the first weekend of November, which is almost always beautiful weather in mm -hmm. Texas. It's always such a nice day. It's just like my dream Saturday to be able to come out and picnic, <laughs> watch horse-drawn carriages. It's so fun. Like, it's so relaxing. Yay. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers.